everyone, John from ARTV. It is time for a little thought piece type thinking out loud type thing. I'm not sure what else to call it, but it's been something that's on my mind and I wanna get those thoughts out to you guys. So, as you know, I review lots of music. I listen to even more. I don't review probably even half of the stuff that I listen to. But with that amount of music, you're probably wondering, how do you fit it into a day? How do you do it? How do you tackle everything? And as a music fan, how do you approach your listening? And I have to say that there is one thing that can definitely bring down the overall enjoyment and just the interest that I have in music, and it's something that I'm working on and something that I feel like passing on just as advice, kind of like, uh, you know, old dad handing down some advice. I'm not sure why I just referred to myself in that way. I'm setting myself up for Daddy John comments. Please don't give me those. But in all seriousness, I want to talk about something that I feel is plaguing music fans. Since the rise in popularity of social media dating all the way back to MySpace, early Facebook, where music was very prevalent, a lot of artists were on there, bands were interacting with their fans, it was a good thing, and it still is a very good thing. But at the same time, with the expansion of social media and music fans, I think a lot is lost in the mix. We find ourselves distracted. And that is the one thing that I really want to talk about today. The one thing that I think is taking away from the overall pleasure that we get from music. Distractions are everywhere, whether it be your phone right in front of your face half the time, or your computer. And I'm not calling anybody out and more than I'm just calling myself out as well because I'm guilty of these things. We have it right at our fingertips. Why wouldn't we be browsing the web, checking Twitter, doing 10 other things, texting people while listening to music because it's right there. But at the same time, did you really hear the song that you just played? Do you really have a strong opinion, a solid opinion on the record that you just heard because you played it in the background instead of actually giving it some attention? Now, at the same time, I'm not saying no, you can never do things in the background or anything like that. But whenever you listen to your favorite band's albums, say that like Brand New just came out with a new record, this is something that I struggled with myself and something that kind of inspired it. I was like, I really want to focus on this, but I just, I couldn't get myself in the mood to just sit there and it's so hard sometimes with so many distractions and so many things available right there. It's something where you really have to dedicate yourself. Maybe set your phone down, maybe put it on, I don't know, do not disturb and put it outside of your door, whatever it takes. That's what's working for me right now and it's something where I'm kind of learning the balance. Sometimes music is fun to play in the background while you're doing other things like if I'm gathering stuff to edit or if you're working on homework, whatever it may be. But also, sometimes, especially if you're a big fan of the music, it can also be a lot of fun to actually sit there and take it in. So I think that the main thing that's just plaguing people in general, music fans, I'm not talking about casual fans that just will listen to the radio in the background, don't care one song from the other, it's all the same to them. I'm talking about people who are actually passionate about music and what I feel like could really be hurting the whole concept of albums and just artists actually going in and releasing things other than singles because we've gotten so ADD. And I'm right there. I'm right there kind of just scratching my head sometimes wondering how did we get to this? Back in the day it was just me and this whether it be on the bus for a field trip or walking around the neighborhood. It was me, the headphones, and the CD player. But uh, we've obviously moved on from that. We've moved on even from just an iPod that doesn't have internet. You have your iPhone, your Android, your iPad, whatever computer you might have. You have all of these devices that are hooked up, ready to go, and you're doing a million things at once, and maybe you're not paying attention to the music in front of you as a result of that. And I guess what I'm just trying to put out there today is I challenge you. I challenge you to listen to one of your favorite band's albums, or maybe a new album that you've never heard before and actually sit there and pay attention to it for the entire listen. Maybe you turn a visualizer on, that's what I do. I turn on my iTunes or else Windows Media Player one. I've got one on my Mac as well, obviously in the iTunes there that I'll check out. But I like putting something on so that I do feel like maybe there's something in front of me, but at the same time, it's not something that takes away from the experience and it doesn't distract me from the words or the music that is being played or else said. And it's something where I find myself honing in even more because a lot of times those are set to go with the music. So it definitely helps bring that out.
out. And I hate that it's not available on Spotify, but even with Spotify, if you're using that, if you've got a computer, pull up a visualizer on your either phone or your computer while you're listening to something on your other device. I challenge you guys to do that and then come back and let me know what that experience is like for you. Put the phone down, put it down for the entire experience. I don't care if it's a 61 minute album like brand news. I did it several times and I find it more and more rewarding. And it's something that I always try to do as a critic. I try to sit down, listen to something, just not distracted, but it feels like there's always distractions, but it's because I let those distractions in. I found myself disabling Wi-Fi on my computer. I'll slide my phone out of the room for a bit and things like that help me personally. But there's still always that temptation like, oh, something pops in your head. I really wanna Google this. I really wanna do this. And it's because we're so used to getting all the results right then and there. But I feel like if maybe more of us just sat back meditated on things and actually seemed a bit more receptive to a lot of things that artists say and do, then maybe they would be more willing to put more of themselves out there and more depth into their music. And not that artists and bands aren't doing that, there's just a lot that aren't getting enough praise for doing so, I don't feel like. And I think that a lot of people might overlook some of the themes in the music itself, or maybe just in general, even older albums and that sort of thing, maybe we start to kind of miss the point and see it more as just, oh yeah, that's got a certain sound that I like and it just plays. I don't know, I'm rambling, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Let me know how that goes for you. It's just a little experiment and it's something that I have an opinion on and I do feel like we're all guilty of it, at least at some times. I know that there's probably some people out there that definitely always listen to music like undistracted, like they just get into the zone and kudos to you guys who are able to do that. I've just never been able to do that, at least, you know, in recent times as I find myself more distracted than ever, thinking about upcoming videos and that sort of thing. There's always something on your mind, you know, but it can be really, really just helpful and healthy, I feel like, to get everything cleared out so that you can sit down and enjoy the music. Those are my opinions and thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video while you're here. And if you're able to support the channel by either supporting on Patreon, that top link down below and donating on a monthly basis, or number two, the second link right there. It is on Tad. All you have to do, watch some ads by downloading that free app, Tad. Every 500 that you earn and transfer over to ARTV is 50 cents in a real life donation. And I wanna shout out a few people real quick if you don't don't mind. If you screenshot yourself transferring over 500 tads and either tweet it to me, Facebook, however you can get it to me, then you have a chance to be featured in a shout out. And today, I want to give some thanks to the people who have done that. We have up first, we have Brandon. Thank you so much. We have Spencer, Chemical Kid as well. Thank you so much. And Emily. We can't forget about Emily because she made a Twitter account apparently just so that she could screenshot it and send it over to me. Thank you, that is dedication. The final shout out goes to Henry real quick. I know that he's been watching for a long time along with some of these other people. Thank you to everybody new and old that's been supporting. It really means a lot to me. You can go directly to my Patreon page by clicking that annotation right in the corner of the screen. Another recent video right here or right here for a video that I think you might enjoy kind of related to this. Other than that, uh, my socials are in the description and I'll see you very soon right here on ARTV.